What's good, y'all? Thank y'all for coming. First things first, I need y'all to smash that notification bell so y'all can be updated on all the new videos. And whenever I'm dropping, stay up to date on all the latest topics for Cardia Kane. And make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button. It helped the algorithm and everything. If you support me, if you're saluting me, then I'm saluting you back. You know what I'm saying? First things first, we're going to get into um, the money bag, yo. Finesse two-time situation. Finesse two-time signed a deal with um, Bread Gang Records. And um, I think that's a power move. You know what I'm saying? Um, them boys showing that as long as ain't no bloodshed behind whatever they had going on, then it could all be fixed. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's a step up with what's going on because with, with what happened with Dolph and the beef that's been going on in Memphis, I think this kind of helped change that tide to show that, yeah, man, y'all boys can work together. It's a lot of talent out of Memphis. You know what I'm saying? And Moneybag bossing up, showing that, hey, some of the things that even Yo Gotti wasn't able to do, Moneybag is able to do in, in cutting out all that senseless violence and that beefing when ain't nothing bigger than the bag, ain't nothing bigger than helping taking care of your family. You know what I'm saying? You, um, either you're going to be a street nigga or you're going to be a rapper or entertainer and get to the money. You know what I'm saying? You can't do both. You can, but um, the way things going on in the industry right now, it's not looking like you can do it and be successful and have a long-term career at doing it. You know what I'm saying? So salute, I salute them boys for doing that. Um, I don't know everything what went on with um, Finesse Two Times and Honeycomb Brazy because as you all know, if you don't know, you're hearing it first. Honeycomb Brazy don't like this situation. He already had um, a little beef bubbling with um, J. Prince Jr. and how Rap -A -Lot has not been supporting him during his downtime and everything. So when he found out that Moneybag Yo and Finesse two times done linked up, he goes to Twitter, social media, and posts his feelings on that situation um y'all can look right here and you can see some of the stuff he done posted but other than that i mean he let it be known he's not feeling it and that's just what it is um he even let it be known hey when he was out he broke bread with finesse two times and uh finesse two times had a lot to say how he saluted him how he rocking with Honeycomb Brazy and everything else and how he didn't want Honeycomb Brazy messing with his ops at the time. Uh, so I think Honeycomb Brazy, by, by him just not really even being in the game, he's more of a street artist and he's not knowing that the streets and the rap game are two different things. And um, he's down right now, so I think he's dealing out of emotion too and he's feeling betrayed. But um, of course, he's showing receipts on some of the things that finesse two times said hey you can't take everything with a grain of salt the man named finesse two times you feel me so if you drop them off the bag hey this man is always trying to finesse out of any situation and hey you got to know what you're dealing with you know what i'm saying um if you ain't grow up with these dudes and you don't really know these dudes you can't be mad if these dudes ain't who you thought they was you ain't long you ain't knew them long enough to understand who they was in the first place but that's that's just hey neither here or there man that's how i move that's how i look at the picture you might look at it way totally different you know what i'm saying but um money bag i feel like money bag yo made a power move because he knew like you know what ain't no need of beefing ain't no need my my squad don't go. I got a whole bunch of, you know what I'm saying, TTG soldiers that's ready to go. Um, They're going to protect the brand. They're going to do what they got to do. And and right now, I'm up in the millions. You know what I'm saying? I see Finesse two-time bubbling. And we can, we, we can play the game like it's been going on. But this right here changed the tide. And they're opening up a new um outlook on the Memphis rap scene. Because this is something that you all know. 
um, Yo Gotti wasn't able to achieve. Um, Black Youngster wasn't able to achieve. I don't know if even if Black Youngster wanted to achieve anything like that. But you know what I'm saying? So Moneybag Yo is making a name for himself and separating himself from all the other artists and showing that um, he wants longevity in this game. He's surrounded by um, a good team. Shout out to the Bread Game. Shout out to Endless. Um, and it's about money. It's about power. It's about um, respect. It's about taking care of your family. It ain't about proving to your homeboys and the streets because, I mean, after you dead and gone, they're going to forget about you. After you locked up, they're going to forget about you. You feel me? So you got to move strategic in this game. You can't be playing for what somebody going to say about you. You know what I'm saying? They ain't putting money in your pocket. So I salute money bag yo on that and, and, and watching the playing field and knowing that it's a bigger picture than what could happen. Yeah, they could be the hottest beef going on um, or whatever, but why not get the bread together and put a bigger bag into finesse two-time pocket. Finesse two-time already um, tied in with mob ties. So I don't know the specifics of that, but I salute um, J. Prince Jr. On, on making that happen, help making that happen. And still, you know, it can't be no bad blood because J. Prince is in the middle of it, too. So J. Prince, the one helped finesse two times from when he first jumped. You feel me? So he had to see the vision. You know what I'm saying? Um, honeycomb Brazy, I understand how you feel. But you need to um, just pipe down, man, because you don't want to get in all this. I understand you're a real street dude, but you, um, all this beefing and all this warring and all this um, having too many enemies and you can't even, your bread ain't even long enough to um, handle the beef is what got your grandma and your grandpa killed. You know what I'm saying? Um, you ain't have enough money to move them out of the way. You know what I'm saying? You might be a stepper, but in this in the art of war, I mean, the bigger bag gonna win the battle. You know what I'm saying? They drop that bag on you, and you can't contain that defense. You know what I'm saying? You can't contain that offense. They gonna score. You ain't got enough defense, what I'm trying to say. So, I mean, you should be silent sometimes, man. You know what I'm saying? I know you're a street dude, but this is on a bigger field. This ain't in Alabama, just some neighborhood beef type stuff. You're trying to open it up everywhere. It's going to be hard for you to do shows somewhere. You got to look at it like that. Y'all ain't looking at it like that. You feel me? You can't be a street dude who done laid in bushes, who done did that type of stuff. If you did, you would move a little bit more strategic, man. You know what I'm saying? Not saying you ain't got no squad, but right now, if you did have a squad, you wouldn't be mad about um, your old squad not holding you down. You'll chalk that up and, and be saluting your new team. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, a boss can see all that, man. So, um, it is what it is, man. Um, Honeycomb Brazy, he's a good artist. You know what I'm saying? But without the backing, like, <laughs> with, with Finesse Two Time done got, he finna clean up his image. Um, you know, he on that, uh, pimp lane right now, too. Um, he ain't really on that just, just, um, stepping lane. He on that put it in my pocket type stuff. So, I mean, that's good. That's smart. You know what I'm saying? So with, with bread game, he's able to clean up his image and shoot to the charts. His, his, um, songs get back, um, uh, no back in and get even already doing numbers, already got millions of views. He just dropped the black visa, and that probably by the time I drop this video, it'll probably be already at a million because it's close to it right now. So he already turned up, man. You know what I'm saying? You should be plotting on your comeback. But I do see the lane you trying to go when you dropped um, the little tweet on Instagram or whatever it was where you were saying Fredo Bang went to a song. Fredo Bang and Youngboy wouldn't be doing the song. Maybe you're trying to strategically place yourself in the lane where young boy, maybe young boy will get you because you know young boy is a big name, one of the biggest names in the industry. So you might be, I, I see what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel me? But hey, man, you trying to get in, get out of one bed and go get in another. You don't want to be labeled a hopper because this man might do something that you don't like. You feel me? 
and, and, and you don't want to just keep on hopping. You got to build your own brand and get it off. off. And another thing, you talking about um, change your name to Nate, Nate Brazy and all that, whatever, man. Keep a honeycomb brazy. That's what you, I mean, I understand your grandma um, gave you that name. But, um, hey, listen, man. Your actions, what, in the end, your actions the one what got that man and got your grandma um, murdered. You were talking big. It, it didn't matter um, if you was a rat, um, whoever. Them boys got the job done. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if it was an accident. They might have been trying to hit it, just, just light it up, and it hit. The oxygen tank on accident or whatever, but it happened. You know what I'm saying? And it's a sad case. My condolences to your family. But when you moving like that, that's the type of shit that happened, man. You got to know how to move, man. You feel me? You can't be just, you was, I, I was watching you at that time. You was way out the city. You was way everywhere, just laying low, doing your thing, man. You know what I'm saying? You went and got your grill done. You went and did all that, man. You first thing you supposed to did, if you know that beef that serious and they got a bag on your head, you're supposed to move your people to a better place. Get that grill, get them chains, get all that other shit later, man. You feel me? That wasn't no real solid shit to be doing. But it is what it is. You live and you learn. You the one got to live with those consequences. So, hey, man. Again, salute to uh, Finesse Two Times. Salute to Money Bag Yo, the Bread Game team, the Finesse Game team, and everything. Hey, man. Even salute Honeycomb and Brazy. Because at the end, man, um, I wish the best for you. I just hope that you can get it together, man, and see the real vision. See what's the real goal, the end goal. You know what I'm saying? Is to get up out the hood. You don't want to be stuck in the beef because if you beefing with everybody, you bound to lose. You know what I'm saying? Get with a winning team, man. That's my take on it, man. It's Cardiac Kane. Salute.